The last thing I want to talk about really quick is the Trimble Access Services. Um, there has been a ch change to that. So there's been four important changes to the Access Services. So right now the Access Sync Service is available for free to anyone who has a valid license or software maintenance agreement for Trimble Access. So if your software support or warranty is currently current or not expired, you can use the Access Sync Service for free. Registration is very simple. Uh, you have to register for a TCC site. It's under my.trimbleaccess.com, and it's 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 been kind of enhanced and more customer friendly to improve your workflow for for managing your sites and your users. And then also the office interface to to get files on an office has been made a lot easier as well. Um, Access Inc. again available free with a maintenance agreement. The licenses have been able to to be downloadable since November 5th using Access Installation Manager. So check your entitlement, uh, meaning check your warranty date in your controller by picking the little Trimble icon in the upper left-hand corner, going to About and Trimble Access, and that'll tell you your current warranty date, and that'll let you know if you're able to use the free service or not. Registration's easy. Again, you go to my.trimbleaccess.com. You sign in. It's going to create a... Um, site manager login, which is like the administrator account. Um, organizations are limited to one per company, but each organization you can create up to one, at least 100 user accounts and you get 10 gigabytes of free storage space per organization. Um, so just some improved workflows. Basically you have two main tools. You have manage users, which add, edit, and delete users, and you have a manage sites administration tool which allows you to add and ed add and edit project sites or satellite offices or things like that. And a simplified permissions model means if you want a user to have an access to a site, you just check the box and they have access to that site. So here's the uh, user interface in the office. You have a getting started, manage users, manage sites, and then you can see here's your listing of, of sites right there. So there's two things you need to do. One is you need to create the account in the Trimble Connected community, which I can show you how to log in in just a second. And then two, once the account is created, you need to log into that account through your access controller to synchronize and, and, and link that file up to the office. So what I have here is a user file that I've created. I've got an organization called FPI Demonstration. I've got my username password. And I'm just going to go into my online mode because this is a service you have to be on the internet for. I'm going to hit next. It's going to connect to log in. It's going to grab my site list. I say, okay, this is where I'm going. I agree to the terms. I hit next. It just tells you right here where you're going. Finish. And now I'm linked up. Okay. On the other side of things, you can log in through your web browser or it's changed a little bit in TBC. Uh, let me close this here. In TBC, you can log in right through the, uh, right through the start page. And some of you may have noticed this that this has changed a little bit um, in recent, uh, I think just within the last week. So from the start page, I can choose Trimble Access Services. And what it's going to do is bring me right to the login for my Connected Community site. Now, if I don't want to log in and I still want to use some of the tools, I just change my Navigate to from Sign In to Survey Tools. And then that's going to give me my uh, my file conversion and my data processing tools that, that used to be in there that, or that we're used to. So you don't have to technically have this login in order you, to use those two services. But if I go back to sign in, I'm going to go ahead and log in. Oops. And now when I sign in, I can see my file upload and manage files. Those are the two main tools. So if I have a file in the office that I want to send to somebody out in the field, let's say they forgot a stakeout file or something like that, I can go into file upload, select my file. Let's just say this guy for whatever reason. Hit next. It's going to look at all the available usernames. I can say I want to send it to myself, 
and then where I want it to go to. So to the field means it's going to go to whatever controller I'm currently logged in as, or I can go to that controller and put it in the system files folder. Then I just hit next and it synchronizes with my controller. Okay. On the other side of things, if I'm logged in here, I simply start the access sync service. It's checking the list right now. You can see it updated. There's 15 files and now it's sending these projects down here. So you'll see this change um, as we go. Sending three of 15, four, and once this is synced up, you can see the system files, there's no changes, so everything is green. Once this thing sends up all the files, it's going to turn green and tell you that it's synced up and ready to go. So on the controller, essentially, all you have to do is start the access sync service. If you have any updated files, it's going to send them automatically. If they put any files to, your, to the field folder, it's going to send them back to your controller automatically. And if you leave the service running, I believe it checks for updates every 30 seconds. The other thing to keep in mind is typically people who are going to use this are going to be um, VRS users because they're typically going to have the internet connection. This tool is, um, I sh I, for lack of a better term, smart enough to adjust the transfer rate and speed so it's always kind of the secondary application, so it's not going to knock out your, your uh, VRS or your, or your RTN type connection, so you don't have to worry about that happening. On the Office side of things, I can just go to Manage Files. Under Manage Files, it's going to show me all my users that I have created. I can expand my user. This is the, uh, the controller I'm working from. You can see I have some other ones that I've logged into, and I can expand this, and now you can see all these files that it's currently sending over um, and updating, here we go, if I get this to pull up, that is sending over and updating, these are going to start populating right in the screen, and then I can click on them and save them and bring them into TBC and do what I want. So it's just kind of a seamless uh, integration between field and office over internet connection, and this service is free now to everybody who has current support on Trimble Access. All right, so, sorry I went really fast, but we ran over time. Um, that's all I have. Does anybody have any questions that they would like to ask?